Wizard World of One just teased a bunch of changes to Shield Gambits and Test Realm, and they're going to completely change PvP and PvE for the foreseeable future. Now, you might be wondering why I think this is such an important change, because I just don't think it's a PvP change. Yes, right now, it's a PvP spell. The things that they do in Test Realm are going to affect it, but they're going to introduce these spells into PvE one day, y'all, and it's absolutely important that they get them balanced. Otherwise, it's going to unbalance other parts of the game. So let's talk about what they did in Test Realm. Quick TLDR, if you don't know what a Shield Gambit is, it's a spell that has a certain amount of base damage, but if you get four shields on yourself, you give up those four shields to do double damage. That's what it is in Live Realm. Super easy to set up because all you have to do is spam a bunch of zero pip shields and you get three each time. This is one of the easiest things to set up in the game. Probably one of the lowest skill things you can do on any school. Very, very annoying to even go against. So what did they do in Test Realm? So in Test Realm, they made every shield gambit 11 pips instead of 7, 9, whatever the number. They're all 11. There's a standard now across the board. Now, the really important part, though, is what they actually did to the nature of the spell. Now, instead of the times 2 gambit that you see in Live Realm, in Test Realm, it does not do double the damage because you have four shields. It just adds some damage. So, for example, right, the new gin from Test Realm that you see on your screen to compare instead of nine pips it's 11 and now when you have four shields it doesn't do you know double the damage it only does 1850. so instead of doing 1800 for nine pips like you do in live realm you're going to be doing 1850 for 11 pips in test realm so while the initial hit on the gambit has not changed in terms of damage per pip the value of the shield gambit has been reduced that's basically what's happened to be exact kelvin does 365 less damage on the times two conditional compared to original Original damage per pip. Jin does 390 less damage than original, and Dumoni does 360 less damage. Honestly, I'm very, very surprised that it took them until this long to actually nerf the shield gambit. I'm of the opinion that they have not nerfed shield gambits despite changing them over and over and over again until now. And the reason I say this is because this little pip cost raising thing. I actually think that's made shield gambits way, way, way better than they should be. We've seen this with Dumoni. It used to be a 7-pip shield gambit. They made it into a 9-pip shield gambit, but just, you know, kept the damage per pip. And yes, they did things where they removed its ability to drain, this and that. Yes, it got nerfed a little bit. But damage-wise, raising the pip cost did not actually lessen the ability of this being spammed in PvP. I would argue even an 11 pip shield gambit, it will still be very, very, like, you know, apparent in the meta. But the good news is now you have an extra turn to counter, and even if they do it, it's not going to win them the game on the spot because the damage is lower. I think the point on having the extra turns to counter is really, really important because I think that was the biggest complaint about shield gambits out of all of them. It's simply the fact that Ellie shield and spirit shields are zero pips and if you were to go out of your way to pack something like minotaur right which does damage and even clear shields for traps based on your school you're looking at five pips of investment but now i think it's more likely that you could actually use minnow with the extra turn that you're given because of the fact that it's 11 pips and then maybe use the traps to actually just out trade the shield gambit i think if they had a solution where the spell ended up not being 11 pips or if it kept the times two multiplier i, I think that you would still have a really bad issue so i think this is a solution that could work really well shield gambits are joining the ranks of ot gambits now in terms of they're not double damage anymore and as a result people are probably going to be just a little less likely to use them and use other spells like shads like you know other conditionals things that aren't like you know times two gambits if you actually do the math on the value per pip that you get when you have two overtimes and you use the oni that that's the condition you need for the 1140 damage if you do the math out now now, the test realm gen is only slightly more powerful than trickster oni and let's not forget you could set up oni in one turn and that's something that we really need to like you know like digest because frankly that's actually a little wild if y'all are unfamiliar with why ot gambits like fire scion like life gen and trickster oni if you're wondering why they're actually they don't have a double damage conditional it's because spells like fire elf if they have a shield like you literally set it up immediately this spell, it does an over 
overtime and then clears the shield for a second overtime. Immediately, you're ready to do that damage. So now we're looking at shield gambits, which you can never set up in one turn, being valued at the same, like, you know, value per pip when you meet its condition as something you can set up for one turn. That is actually a meaningful devaluation that might actually make it to the cheap ass strategies where just shield over and over again and do a gin or shield and over and over again and do a doom oni. Maybe those will actually, you know, have some level of strategy attached to them. So I think compared to previous solutions, like, this is actually going to make shield gambits not always the go-to move. And just lowering the multiplier on it was, I think, all they needed to do this whole time. I think if they were not going to change the spell, they absolutely needed to do something about the pip cost of shields. This seems to be a solution that, for, for one reason or another, it seems to be that this is important in terms of how they value everything else. So if they change this, a lot of other things change. So I think they're going this route simply because the value of a zero pip triple shield is too important in terms of balancing every other spell in the game. Now, do I think that myth, death, ice, are, are they going to be really that much worse? Well, one, ice didn't really use ice on because the damage, their damage is so low that you're just better off spamming hits and keeping defense up. It didn't really fit like for you to actually go for son until they were basically just ready to die anyway. So let's really talk about myth and death. Is this going to be bad for them? Considering that Celestial Calendar TCs and Medusa TCs are going to be removed and Jin is just basically getting a nerf, it is going to be harder to fight as a myth. That being said, myth is extremely powerful. It has spells that make damage out of weaknesses and literally steal shields before hitting. If you're struggling on a myth after this update, I, I mean, something is seriously wrong because I think myth is just still completely busted beyond belief. Death, on the other hand, I think it is going to take a serious hit with this update. Dr. Vaughn not being a treasure card means it's going to be harder to get that drain when you perfectly need it. And now Doomoni, which was their main source of damage, and it was very good against even healing setups where, you know, like you would guarantee a W because you have heal counters and a high damage spell. Now you don't have that anymore. That being said, in PvP especially, I think the number of people that death pin and death ward, that might go down to the point where death isn't actually, you know, worse off or better off for it. I think time will tell, but I feel like these spells combining with the fact that dual schooling might actually be viable on multiple schools, it's gonna make for a crazy meta. So I hope all of y'all are ready for the videos. I hope all y'all hop into queue. Let me know what you guys think of the Doom Oni, the Ice Sign, and the Myth Gen that got teased. Do you guys like the approach that they're taking? Do you still prefer the shields are more expensive do you prefer that counters are less expensive there are so many ways to go about this and this is just one of the many solutions that i think that they're experimenting with so let me know y'all's opinions especially the people that do pvp especially the people that are excited to use these spells and pve let me know what you guys think of the shield gambit chain as always i'll look forward to reading all of y'all's comments drop a like if you enjoyed leave a sub if you're new and if somebody hasn't told you're awesome today they doing something wrong so stay awesome y'all and yeah y'all yeah.